Glory returned back to the Windy City for Glory 44 Chicago. 11 bouts were featured, including two world title fights, the return of fan favorites, heavyweight Catalan Morisanu and middleweight Dustin Jacoby, and a knockout of the year candidate delivered by Robert Thomas. As summer turns to fall, Glory returns to Europe and the Netherlands for the second time in 2017 for Glory 45 Amsterdam. All six of the men's weight divisions will be in action on September 30th, featuring the second title defense of Ruben Van Roosmalen, the number one and two ranked middleweights to battle, the return of welterweight Nikki Holskin, and the four-man one-night contender tournament featuring the light heavyweights. On this edition of Inside Glory, we'll take one final look back at Glory 44 Chicago, recap the seven weight divisions that make up Glory, and go inside training with one of kickboxing's most famous gyms. I'll be joined later by my broadcast partner and former welterweight champ, Joseph Valtellini, as we preview Glory 45, and then later on, give you a glimpse of Glory's expansion into China this fall. Inside Glory starts right now. Welcome to Inside Glory. I'm Todd Grisham. After having spent the summer in the United States, Glory Kickboxing now sets sail for Europe. Glory 45 Amsterdam, which comes your way on September 30th. Before moving forward and previewing one of the strongest cards this year, let's take one last look back at Glory 44 Chicago. There, we saw Tiffany Van Soos defend her title for the first time. Myrtle Grunhardt successfully capturing the welterweight championship in this, his third attempt. A battle between two hometown welterweights and the return of Catalan Morisanu and Dustin Jacoby. What a night it was. Here's a backstage, behind-the-scenes look at Glory 44 Chicago. Hi, Chicago. The champ is here. How are you? He's never seen nothing like me. The fury, I'm gonna bring him the hell, I'm gonna put him in. He never seen it before. Purpose, that's what drives me. He don't have enough of it, and I'm gonna expose that. Robert, you don't have enough of it. Yeah, I mean, he's just talking. He's trying to convince himself that. It is what it is, he doesn't believe it. Neither do I, so. Put anyone in front of me, I'll fight them and I'll beat them. I'm ready for anything. We train hard, we work hard, we earn it. But whoever it is, it doesn't matter. Because we get it, we take it. However, we get the W, we get it. <laughs> the champ is here. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. The champ is here. <laughs> Tom, see that flag right behind you, big boy? You're gonna wake your delusional ass up tomorrow night. All right, thanks for coming. We'll be fighting in front of some hometown crowd. Atasca Hill! He's 11 and 5 with four career knockouts. The last appeared in Copenhagen at Glory 40. Ready to party, brother? I'm ready to party, my man. Let's do it. I'm not arrogant. You know that, huh? I'm scared. I see you're scared. Thanks for coming, guys. Yeah, I don't even know. It's the crowd. Like, I'm just, I'm the number one, I'm the champion. I'm gonna knock his down, I'm gonna knock his ass down tomorrow and uh, I'm coming for that belt. I'm gonna I, I will not turn my back. I can't believe it, this is Morosan. And this is Glory, no? Glory, Chicago, Morosan. Very nice, awesome.
and Cedric Tumbe defending his title for the third time. This is your main event of the evening. That was our second visit to Chicago in 2017. Two fantastic nights and an always great fight crowd. Coming up, I'll be joined by my broadcast partner, Bazooka Joe Joseph Voltolini, as we take a look at the upcoming card for Glory 45 Amsterdam. You're watching Inside Glory. Saturday, September 30th, Glory returns to the home of modern kickboxing for Glory 45 Amsterdam. It's featherweight frenzy as Robin Van Roosmalen defends his title against Serhei Adamchuk. Nikki Holskin battles for welterweight contention. And everyone's favorite bad boy, Michael, the dream crusher dude, heads up a four-man light heavyweight tournament. Glory 45 Amsterdam, Saturday, September 30th. Check date and time in your area. Glory consists of seven weight divisions, and every Glory event showcases one and sometimes two world title fights. In addition, every Glory card features a one-night, four-man contender tournament where the winner must fight and win twice in one night to capture the trophy and get one step closer to a world title shot. As we prepare for Glory 45 Amsterdam, let's catch you up on each of the seven weight classes in our Glory Division recap. In December 2016, the inaugural Women's Super Bantamweight Tournament came to a close at Glory Collision in Germany. American time bomb Tiffany Van Soos took three straight victories and the title to be crowned the first division champion. At Glory 44 Chicago, Van Soos defended her title for the first time and in dominating fashion defeated Germany's Miriam Uslu with a fourth round TKO. Next up for the champ, Glory 48 New York, where she will defend her title for the second time. In the featherweight division, Ruben Van Roosmalen faced Petch Panamarung at Glory 41 Holland. The Dutchman took the vacant title and now prepares to face Sergei Adamchuk of the Ukraine at Glory 45 Amsterdam. While new featherweight contender tournament champion Kevin Van Ostrand is waiting in the wings. At Glory 39 Brussels, Sidichai defended the lightweight belt for a second time, fighting contender tournament winner Dylan Salvador. As Sidichai turned up the pace, the Frenchman wilted under the bombardment of relentless knees to the midsection. Salvador folded in the fourth, giving Sidichai another knockout win. He's currently training hard to defend his title again in the near future. New welterweight champion Myrtle Grunhardt described the division as a war zone after taking the belt from Cedric Dumbe through five tough rounds at Glory 44 Chicago. And there are certainly battles ahead for the new champion. Harut Gregorian is thirsty for revenge on Grunhardt after a controversial knockout. And he just powered his way through a welterweight contender tournament to put himself in prime position for a title shot. Close behind him, Nicky Holskin hopes to start his journey back to the top at Glory 45 Amsterdam. Grunhardt will have his work cut out in one of Glory's deadliest divisions. At Glory 40 Copenhagen, Simon Marcus challenged the man who took his middleweight belt, reigning champion Jason Psycho Wilness. This time, Marcus showed Wilness's power some respect and kept his focus. Marcus regained the belt by the narrowest of margins and will next defend the title at Glory 46 China against Brazil's Alex Pereira. Behind him lies a stacked division with fellow North Americans Dustin Jacoby and Rob Thomas both scoring impressive victories at Glory 44 Chicago. Light heavyweight champion Artem Bahitov retained the title after a dazzling defeat of Brazilian behemoth Salo Cavallari at Glory 38 Chicago. A recurring injury has him temporarily sidelined, and under Glory rules, a light heavyweight interim title bout took place at Glory 43 New York and saw Pavel Zerbalev defeat Kavalari by unanimous decision to become the number one ranked opponent for Vahitov. However, he will have to wait his turn. 
as Ariel Machado, winner of the light heavyweight contender tournament back at Glory 38, will take on Bahitov when he returns at Glory 47 Lyon. And at the top of it all, heavyweight superstar Rico Verhoeven continued his winning streak through 2016-17 with a solid defeat of Moroccan Ishmael Lazar at Glory 41 Holland. Verhoeven returns to the ring in a non-title championship bout against Antonio Bigfoot Silva. Silva moves from the MMA cage to the Glory ring to take on the king of kickboxing as Glory expands its global footprint and debuts in China with Glory 46. Verhoeven's next title defense will come two months later in Rotterdam when he takes on Man Mountain Jamal Big Ben Sadiq. These two have history with Ben Sadiq scoring a knockout win over Verhoeven early in their careers. Both fighters have grown and matured since then, but while Verhoeven has climbed to the top of the division, Ben Sadiq has not had the same level of success. Sadiq called out the champion after his victory at Glory 39 Brussels, and Verhoeven was all too happy to climb into the ring and accept his challenge. I want Rico. Come into the ring, man, come. This isn't even a challenge. Him, you know, I beat him once. I beat him once, he's nothing. He wants it. Let's do it, we got this. If their face-off is any indicator, when these two giants meet in the Netherlands in December, it could be the fight of the year. Seven divisions, three new champions, and one interim title. Glory continues its dominance throughout 2017 as the number one kickboxing organization on the planet. Joining me now is the former welterweight champion of the world, Joseph Voltolini. You never get tired of me introducing you that way. No, you? it's just you have that voice that I can keep <laughs> hearing over and over. Where's your belt? You always bring the title belt with you. Mm -hmm. No, not no, here you today. Forgot I forgot it. Okay. it at home this time. Well, let's talk about a title fight coming our way. Glory 45 in Holland. And it'll be Ruben Van Roosmalen putting his title on the line against Serhey Adamchuk. I know you're really excited about this matchup. Yeah, because Robin Van Roosmalen can't be beat. We've, you know, so many fighters have come in and tried to, you know, dethrone him. But he's just been so dominant, so powerful, and finishing everyone they put in front of him. Adam Chuck, on the other hand, has a very good chance in this fight because he's a little bit more unorthodox. Um, I think he's going to bring a different style than most people are used to. He can adapt, he can pressure fight, he can move, so I'm really excited for this one. And another fighter who's on the rise, perhaps hotter than anyone right now, Yusuri Belgari. So much hype behind this guy, but he's facing the stiffest challenge of his career. Yeah, you know, Belgari came in doing incredible, winning a contenders tournament, and now he has a shot against Jason Wilness, former middleweight champion. So he's really got to shine and be good that night because Wilness, you know, he makes people fight his fight. He's going to come forward, he's going to stalk you down, get you against the ropes, and really put on those power punches. But Belgari shows he can stay long, he can stay active, he can move. So, um, man, that fight's up in the air. Yeah, and the winner of that fight is expected to get a title shot in their next contest. Also in action, two big heavyweights break mm -hmm. it down. Well, Hesti Gerges has a big challenge in Mladen Brestovac. Brestovac is an awkward southpaw, can throw kicks from any angle, any level, which makes him very dangerous. Um, you know, he had a tough, uh, good fight with Rico Verhoeven, so he has a lot of confidence going in. But Gerges is finding his momentum again, and he's really going to have to go in there, use his pressure style fighting to shut down that left kick. And if he wants to get back in the top of the division, if both of these guys want to get back in, it yeah. takes a win in this fight. Can't wait to see it. And we are in the Netherlands for Glory 45 and one of the best fighters ever to come out of that country, Nikki Holskin. But he's lost back-to-back -back fights, Joe. What is going on? Well, nikki has been the top of the division for many years now, and he's only really fought title fights. Amsterdam is going to be the first time in, I would say, about seven or eight fights for Nikki, where he's actually fighting three three-minute rounds and not a championship fight. How important is it for him to get this win? Well, it's huge for Nikki uh, to have back-to-back -back losses to Doom Bay in order for him to keep his status, to keep his top ranking in the welterweight divisions. He needs a dominant performance. Hey, his legacy could be on the line. Is Nikki Holskin as good as he once was? People are starting to question him. Hey, you got anywhere to go? Not really. All right, stick around. Coming up later on, Joseph will break down one of the biggest nights ever in glory history. Coming up, we go inside training and take a behind the scenes look at one of the premier kickboxing gyms in the world. You're watching Inside Glory. 
Saturday, September 30th, it's Wham Bam Amsterdam for Glory 45 Super Fight Series. A clash of the titans with heavyweight Testy Gerges and Mladen Brestovac. Middleweight Madness with ex-champ Jason Wilness against Jasuri Belgarwi. And lightweight rising stars Tajani Bezdadi and Yutkampan Sitmonchai face off. Glory 45 Super Fight Series, Saturday, September 30th. Check date and time in your area. When Myrtle Grunhart defeated Cedric Dumbe for the welterweight title at Glory 44 Chicago, he became another in a long line of champions to come out of Mike's Gym. Founded and managed by world champion trainer Big Mike Passanier, this world-class facility has trained some of the world's best kickboxers, including Badr Hari. As we approach Glory 45 Amsterdam, once again, Mike's Gym will have a large presence as Sergei Adamchuk, Yasuri Belgarwi, and Masaro Glunder will all be in action. On this edition of Inside Training, we take a closer look at Mike's Gym. Well, it all starts simple. I was uh, sometimes teaching class, being a substitute, and people said, you need to do this more often. I said, no, that's nothing for me. But, you know, then I started to train with Gilbert Ballantini, Dylan Grafenberg, Stuart Ballantini. You know, and then Gilbert started to teach in uh, the east side of Amsterdam. And he asked me to help him. Then we left the east side for the north side, so we went to the north side to teach over there. From there, I met Yuri Mesh, you know, my first fight at the logo. And uh, then we'd be going to several gyms and every, everywhere was the same. So I said, well, I needed a place for my own. But I can train whenever I want, how long I want, and to do what I want. At that time, also came uh, Brother Hardy. Now, at this time, I've had several other kickboxers, you know. I never want to change them as a fighter. I just want to add something to their game so they become better. I think I just care. Like I said, it's not difficult, you know. I just sit on the bench all day talking from the bench, telling people what to do. No, you have to step like this, no, you have to step like that. And once you know, in a while, I just get off this bed. It's oh, okay. You know, and then I show just the steps or the punches, you know, and, and then, then we do it over and over again until we can't get it wrong. You know, there are a lot of guys who can do the same thing I do. I love guys who maybe can even do it better, but they're just not me. That's the uh, that's the secret, I guess. A lot of other feelings there, and the tifus, but we saw them were echt helemaal in elkaar for that one. Yes. And I will not that you turn up with minder. Yes. Sometimes it's necessary. Some people need to uh, to be shaken up. A nice thing to tell, a nice uh, story. Uh, in America, we're fighting Robbie Lawler with uh, Melvin Manouf. And we always have a very intense uh, warm-up and everything. And then when we start warming up and screaming, shouting and punching and fighting, then they call security and then 20 guys rush in the room because they think we were fighting. But we were just warming up. <laughs> yeah, these things happen, you know. It's, uh... Uh, but now Glory comes to Holland, you know, that's special. And uh, if Glory comes to Holland and comes to Amsterdam, that's where we live. So, you know, this is something you, you have to see. Uh, oh, we, we're going to be well prepared. We're going to show everybody, nobody's going to do nothing in our city to us. We are, we are proud to be the little gym we are with the big fighters and, and, you know, the big attitude. But some things just don't go, you know, <laughs> not in Amsterdam. If the other guy is better, he's better. But that means you have given all, and a little bit more than that. 
At Glory 45, Big Mike will be tested as his number two ranked Yasuri Belgarwi faces number one ranked Jason Wilness in a key middleweight matchup. The night concludes with top ranked Serhei Adamchuk looking to reclaim the featherweight belt. This time, he'll face his toughest opponent yet and current champion, Ruben Van Roosmalen. When we come back, I'll be joined one more time by my broadcast partner, Bazooka Joe Joseph Baltolini, as we look ahead at Glory's expansion into China. And now to discuss one of the biggest nights in Glory history, I'm joined once again by Joseph Valtellini. Glory is headed to Guangzhou, China, the first ever card in China for Glory. UFC hasn't even been to China yet. What are your thoughts on that big historic night on October 14th? Well, you got to think China is such a huge martial arts country. So to have uh, a Glory kickboxing event there, um, there's a lot of people, a lot of passionate martial arts fans. And, then, you know, I'm expecting a lot of these Chinese fighters to, you know, really make a big name for themselves in kickboxing. And, you know, that old school martial arts and that mentality they have from such a young age, Man, to see that in kickboxing is just going to be something new. The press conference we had in China has been viewed over 1.5 million times on YouTube. A lot of excitement around this card, including the main event, which we've already announced. And it's going to be Rico Verhoeven versus Bigfoot Silva, who's never fought kickboxing match before. Yeah, but it's Bigfoot Silva. You see that man, he's just this big structure and uh, you know, I think it's going to be one of those guys that Rico's going to look at and Rico's going to be maybe a little intimidated by that size, but um, I just think Rico's on a totally different level right now. Whoever we're throwing in front of him, he's just, you know, finishing all of his fights and we're having a hard time getting him those hard fights, but Bigfoot's no one big. Want, no one wants to fight Rico, so props to Bigfoot for standing up to him. Yeah, he's a big guy, and you know, when you're that big, all it takes is one little touch, and the fight's totally changed. Also, Simon Marcus will be defending his uh, middleweight championship, be taking on Alex Pereira of Brazil, but also a couple of Chinese fighters that we're really excited about. They've already made their glory debut. We get to see them in action. Let's start with Chin Chin Lee. Well, Chin Chin Lee is just, a, he's so young, and when he came in, he just did an incredible job at being entertaining. He had a big knockout. Um, his dancing, on the other hand, <laughs> we weren't overly impressed with. Well, like what I like to, what I said on the broadcast, he performed so well, he earned the right to dance that bad. Well, he did, and it was an incredible knockout, so to see him back in his hometown is going to be exciting. We have Ching Hao Meng, um, who also had a very successful debut in, in Glory. So these Chinese fighters are, you know, winning and they're doing well. And being back in China is just going to give them that extra motivation and uh, to keep training, to keep getting better in the kickboxing rules. It all happens on October 14th as Glory, for the first time ever, hits China. Cannot wait for October 14th. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Inside Glory. Be sure to join us for Glory 45 Amsterdam, taking place Saturday, September 30th. The modern mecca of kickboxing hosts an action-packed night featuring the second title defense of Robin Van Roosmalen as he faces number one ranked Serhei Adamchuk. Heavyweights collide in a match of top 10 ranked fighters when Hesti Gerges takes on Ladin Restavak. A key middleweight matchup between number one ranked Jason Wilness and number two ranked Yasuri Belgarwi. And finally, the light heavyweights do battle in the four-man, one-night contender tournament. Be sure to check your local listings for date and time in your area. And of course, check out All Things Glory, including our new and improved website, glorykickboxing.com. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, as well as catch up on your Glory features and fights on our YouTube channel. I'm Todd Grisham. Can't wait to see you at Glory 45 Amsterdam. Are you ready for glory?